I've been asked to talk about the stun run-through shot and then to demonstrate it, why it's played and how it's played. Well, well the first thing is, if I play this red into the pocket and play it gently with slight degree of topspin for the black in this pocket, it demands a lot, A, on my cue in accuracy and B, uh, a lot, play, large demand on the trueness of the table. So here, a small amount of topspin and run through for the black. Now, although I've played that quite successfully, a good player would prefer to play that as a stun run. He would feel that he's got more control over the pot and certainly more control on the position of the white. If I come too low on the white, it just acts as a stun. And I'm no good in terms of position. I play it virtually the same way, but come slightly higher on the white. So the ball is not skidding towards the red, there's just a little bit of forward momentum on the white. So on the first shot, I played it with a small degree of topspin. On the second one, I was lower down, encouraging a stun shot. Here, I'm coming up slightly on the white, just below center. All right, I'm playing the stun run. and allowing the white to run through slightly for position on the black. The stun run through shot is particularly useful when there's a significant distance between the cue ball and the object ball. Playing a trickle shot over these distances demands a lot on the accuracy of the table. Playing a slightly more forcing shot as with the stun run through demands less on the accuracy of the table. And they are particularly useful in this concept. As with all these shots, they demand a lot of practice. So give it the time and the patience they deserve.